Bayshore Mall surveillance video from Thursday shows snowplows one minute pushing snow, piling it into one spot atop the parking structure. The next, it all comes crashing down. Mounds of concrete crushing cars. The crews in the skid steers work for winter services. Tuesday, we went to the West Dallas business to find out who told the crews to put the snow there. Can we talk to you about what happened at Bayshore? Can, are we filming right now? The salesperson at the door wouldn't let us talk to his supervisor and wouldn't answer questions about the collapse at Bayshore. But 12 News has learned the company's general practice is to follow customer directions, which is the common way of doing business in the snowplow industry. Uh, it's the worst spot you could have placed it. Um, it's roughly the, the only real area that had zero support. And James Hoffman would know he spent a decade removing snow at Bayshore as the previous contractor at the structure. We had extensive meetings on this site on what we can and can't do. Where did you put the snow? Uh, we would place it along all the exterior walls. Um, specifically this side because we, we would have to dump it and haul it off. He says following orders is one thing, going against better judgment is another. So, what are the factors you have to consider? Weight, mostly. Um, weight, equipment. Hoffman says he believes there's only one explanation. A negligence, it's it's fault of a little bit of everybody. Um, contractors should have known better because if they didn't know how to plow a structure, they should have found out. Um, Bayshore should have been on top of it and said, hey, you're, you're piling it in the long location. This was avoidable. Absolutely. Uh, 12 News asked the uh, Texas-based owner of Bayshore what were their instructions for snow removal, but they have yet to reply to us. We know Bayshore has brought in a private engineering firm to determine if anything else structurally failed.